details on RTD's plan to operate an overnight security team and 24-7 patrols for bus and light rail stations starting May 5th with the goal of increasing safety. The Fox 31 problem solvers started pressing RTD for answers about drug use and crime in the system for two years. Tonight, Fox 31's Kim Posey is live at the Alameda station in Denver taking a closer look at the issues. Kim. Yeah, last year RTD had about 14,000 calls for service and lots of complaints. So now the agency is hoping to bring those numbers down and increase police presence at places like this. RTD light rail and bus riders say they see a lot of people openly using drugs. I just don't particularly feel safe all the time here. I'm a light rail operator. A light rail operator who does not want to be identified says it's a real problem. Every day I find foil on my trains with a black dot in it. That's fentanyl or some other drug that they smoke. He says he's seen violence as well. Personally, I was attacked here at Broadway Station. I was attacked at Bellevue Station. I've also had my backpack stolen from my cab by a passenger. With troubles like these, the RTD Transit Police Department is moving to a 24-7 staffing model starting May 5th. The idea and the hope is to have a much stronger presence at the platforms. Deputy Chief Glenn Horn says RTD has heard the complaints. I promise you we, we hear you um, loud and, and clear. We're being strategic with our deployment um, in, the, in placement of cops throughout the system because we are truly committed to having a safe and welcoming transit environment. The officers will also tackle fare evasion and ask riders who did not pay to get off the bus or train if a person is homeless. One thing we try to do is connect them with resources. Riders and staff will see more officers as well as the department continues to grow. The department currently has 61 post certified officers. The agency plans to have a minimum of 119 by the end of the year. And RTD also plans to add six mental health clinicians and five homeless outreach coordinators by the end of the year to work alongside those officers. Kim Posey, Fox 31. All right, our thanks to Kim.